I am profoundly disturbed that one of Canada's greatest international charities has been completely decimated by inaccurate, uh, malicious manipulation for political gain that was based on not misinformation, but just no facts whatsoever. I'm so confident that any money I raised or donated went to something terrific. And whether it was the actual glass windows in a school or the roof that was built or the books that were there or the lunch that was provided, I don't really care because I saw the, the effects. And, and you don't have to be an educator to understand the effects of education on a young child. I totally believed in our CBC as being factual, providing the true facts and balance in reporting. And I hated that term fake news, but I now am questioning what I'm seeing on CBC uh, because I'm wondering whether it's skewed to some kind of agenda that, they, that was predetermined. All of us have been more than thrilled for not just the partnership and the, the access to doing good, but the results. The transparent, clean, obvious results of impact. This is the shining star of what philanthropic uh, work overseas is all about. So when the media in Canada starts to jump on this and turn it into a political issue, this, this just, I couldn't sit any longer. And this is why we, we are here today. So I have a clear understanding of what journalism is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about getting a story with all angles. And that's what this story is not doing. So it's highly misleading. I look back at the hope, uh, the hopefulness, the positive energy that we fostered, not only in cities across Canada, but in North America and into the UK, the compassion that it extended by giving families like ours, kids in school programs to go abroad, to connect with other people. Now more than ever, our world needs that.